Hey guys, Max here from Lawn Hub, and we are back at Clint's place to do a bit of an update on his lawn. Um, he has let me know in no uncertain terms that he's not very happy with his lawn at the moment. So being a greenkeeper, he's expecting me to fix this. Uh, and we have a few issues of those that have followed us thus far. You would know that this patch doesn't get a lot of sun other than the sun it's getting right now. And we've got a few other issues down the back with a bit of patchiness in the ryegrass. Um, it's healthy, but we maybe need to do a bit more over sowing. So we'll have a look into that today and we'll just give you an update and we'll give it a bit of a mo. So here is an area in Clint's lawn that we have had a bit of issue with. Um, as you can see, there's a bit of a variation in how much germination occurred. You can see this is quite lush here. It's only been mown on Saturday. And this here, quite sparse and bare. The tiff tuff doing well though. Um, so there's no massive problem with a big dirt patch or anything like that. But we might just locally do a little overseed, maybe get the verti cutter in to just scratch a little line again, get some of that seed to soil contact. It might've been just the fact that we didn't get enough seed to soil contact there when we first did it. Um, or it might've been Ricey's fault for not spreading it perfectly. I'm not gonna say which is which, but anyway. We've got a few things we've got to get done here um, to make Clint's lawn tickety-boo. He wants it perfect, as you can well imagine, and we will try our very best to get it that way. And that patch is dead forever from my knee. So uh, for those recurring viewers, uh, we have had some issues with the dog urine patches. Um, we'll take you over to where we fixed the previous ones. These are some new ones from Clint's dog and a visiting dog. Isn't that wonderful? So we'll take you over to here where in a video or two videos ago, we overseeded, put out a bit of organic content um, and you can see the results pretty, pretty good. Uh, it's probably best here out of the whole lawn because um, it's new growth. It's covered in the patches pretty well. Clint's given this a mow last Saturday. Uh, it's come up pretty well, but obviously you can see that it is still an ongoing process. It's, it's still a toilet um, and we'll deal with that as we go. So just to give you a bit of an idea, if you haven't been following, um, we have given this a hit of roots and shoots. That was about two weeks ago and, and we have given it a hit of mini pill. So we went at about three quarters of the rate recommended uh, for the mini pill. And if you watch our last video, you'll see how we worked out the actual nitrogen content in that product and how much we needed to put on this lawn for the rest of winter. Um, so it has had two lots of uh, fertilizer. We will be going into some three way either later this week or the next week. So you'll see that in the next video after the last one and this one. Um, let's keep track of that. So yeah, we'll be putting out some three-way, which is a, a really, really good product we've got. It's balanced. It's got lots of trace elements, which is what ryegrass loves. Um, but for now, we will give this baby a mo. And that patch is dead forever as well. We might have to do a mower maintenance video with Clint, I think. <laughs> Is this the only bit that you're interested in? Yeah, like yeah. Me being able to start the mower? All right, so this is an excuse. This is a complete excuse. I never turn the petrol off my mower. Okay, you, maybe you should. I never turn the petrol off. That's what's got me the last few times. I swear. Petrol on. <sighs> Give it a go. Petrol now on. This is going to be another one of those TikTok videos where he goes ding, 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 ding. <laughs> what does he do to me? Why does this always happen? Right, we can just cut that. That's not my fault. First go. New fuel.
All right guys, so we have finished our mow. As you can see, it's looking pretty good. Uh, so going forwards now, later this week or early next week, we'll put out some three-way. So it'll be our first application of three-way. We'll be calculating the actual end of three-way as well at the time. Uh, so we'll be able to pass that information on to you guys like we did with the mini pill in the previous video. Um, we'll probably, while we're here, oversee a couple of those spots where the new dog has visited. Um, they're pretty epic, those ones. So. Uh, yeah, that's, yeah, straight urea. <laughs> um, and then we will be putting together a bit of a plan. I've got to talk to Clint uh, about what he wants to do with that patch down there, but I'm thinking we'll overseed the whole lot of that, get that going really well for winter, and then we'll deal with that in spring when it comes to it. If you want to catch up with all of our previous videos, make sure you subscribe to our channel and go back through, have a bit of a look at Duffy's updates, my updates, and Clint's updates. We've also got some reviews and some plans on there. Uh, and yeah, just keep following our progress. We're enjoying filming. Hope you're enjoying watching. Thanks guys.